Let's continue our build and put together the water block on this graphics card. And that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, wanted to continue the uh, build here. I don't have my motherboard back yet. It's been delivered um, last week at uh, uh, Gigabyte. For some reason, they haven't logged it received yet in part of the RMA process, but whatever. This has been a strange one regardless. This whole build has just been not as planned, let's just put it that way. So we're gonna continue to roll with the punches. Hopefully everything else works. <laughs> I will be testing it before I actually put it in the case. That much I can tell you. Um, we have our Asus Strix RTX 2080 Ti that we're gonna put the EK Quantum Vector water block on and then a backplate from them. I believe I grabbed the black one. Um, I guess we'll see when I get into it. I don't really remember, it's been a little while now. So uh, this is kind of meant to be not only, hey, let's get this thing put together, but a little bit of a tutorial so you can see how it's done. I'm not going to graph everything, but I'm gonna at least videotape the whole thing and kind of go along. So here we go, enjoy some music.
so pretty straightforward. Um, it went on fairly simply. I think it looks okay. Um, I guess it is what it is. It's just a very simple water block. Only thing I'm not a fan of at all is the implementation of their digital, digital RGB. This has just got a horrible set of wiring. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like you can't get lazy with this. I mean, if you look at this thing, there's just, it's a maddening set of wires. Um, I liked e, um, is it EVGA's implementation of their digital RGB inside of their bar, um, their card. They actually just hooked their hydrocopper block directly to the PCB of the graphics card and no wires. So. I feel like EK failed in that manner. I'll see how it looks when I put it in. At least on the upside, I am going to be installing this thing vertically. So the wires will be behind it. Thank God for that. But it's just something that bugs me. Anyway, that's a minor detail. Other than that, I think it turned out really nice. I mean, it's simple, it's clean. It's, gonna, it's the colors I want to match with the case. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm happy about that. And then you'll notice what I did is I went ahead and I put the screws back in place on the cooler itself and then on the back plate so that I was able to save those. So that, that way I don't have to look at it. It's just something I do. I don't know if, you know, I would imagine not everybody does that, but you know, I even put uh, some of the, um, I saved the stickers and I put them over the thermal pads so that, you know, they're reusable. Uh, since they've never really been used other than just hooked up to the card in the first place. Anyway, what this was meant to be, it was a simple, quick kind of how-to video getting the graphics card ready to go in the case once I get my motherboard back from Gigabyte. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Anyway, hopefully you liked today's video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button for me. If you did not, you know what else to do. Hope it's not that. Hit that subscribe button for me and we will see you in the next one. Thanks.